Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here, Baxter Cycle, Morning, Iowa, and look what I have found today. This is a 2020 Triumph Rocket 3 TFC. Check that out. Triumph Factory. I can't remember what the C stands for. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a special edition bike. There were 750 of these made, I think. And uh, only about 225 of them made it to the American shores. We'll go over the little details here in a little bit. This is number 640 of 750. Try, try, anyway, uh, just a, this is the ultimate version of the Rocket 3, in my opinion, particularly at this point in time, 2020. Uh, this one has the added aero exhaust. Isn't that just beautiful? So it's a lovely bike, and we're gonna go over that in a second, but let's go over the basic specs right quick. It's a 240, 2,458. Can you imagine that? 2,458 cc triple, inline, inline triple. Crankshaft runs this way. It's got 12 valves for, you know, four valves per cylinder, dual overhead cams. This is the other side of the engine. Isn't that just amazing? It's just, it's just amazing. Cranks out a whopping, get this, 165 horsepower, 163 foot-pounds of torque. It's a real powerhouse. I've driven these before, and it's a life-changing event when you ride one of these. <laughs> you remember it, believe me. Uh, eight, uh, sorry, 10.8 to one compression, um, six-speed transmission. This one has a speed or quick shifter on it. I don't know if you can see that. Actually, you can. There it is, right there. Shift assist, they call it here, right there. Isn't that neat? Cast, everything's, well, quality's amazing on Triumphs as always. Oh, look at this, another pipe down here. Shaft drive bike, right there, massive shaft. Single-sided swing arm, look at that wheel on this side. Isn't that just amazing? Aluminum frame, that's how they keep the weight down. Look at this intake in here, isn't that neat? Gigantic radiator, I suppose that's an old cooler down there, I'm guessing. Just a, just a thing of beauty. I mean, look at all that gold. Oh wow, that is a that is a raised badge with loads of texture. That's amazing. The front tire on this is a 150, 150. So it's a 150 80 17 on the front. Most uh, motorcycles don't have that on the rear, but yet there it is. And then on the back, it's got a 240 50 16. Now look at that. <laughs> it just, I don't think, I mean, there's cars with smaller cars than that. Just a phenomenal thing. Rear disc brake is a 300 millimeter Brembo. M4 calipers, I think those are a single piece caliper. Looks like it's radially mounted. I would say it is. ABS, cornering, by the way, this bike has cornering ABS. And then the front disc are 320 millimeter, 320 millimeter. Here again, monoblocks, I think, M4s, Brembo's, four pistons, full floating disc. Just phenomenal, phenomenal. Swing arm is a Showa. I'm sorry, the front forks. Show a 47 millimeter, upside down, they're inverted. This has got some sort of a, I can't remember what they call it, diamond nitride or something like that coating on it to make them slide quicker. The travel on this is uh, 4.7 inches. That's about 120 millimeters. That's quite a bit of travel. That's really amazing. And I love the way, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. The rear travel is, the rear is a uh, monoshock and it's a show also. All this is ultra adjustable, by the way. And the rear travel is 4.2 inches, which is about 107 millimeters. Now here's the killer part, seat height on this bike. I have not sat on this yet, by the way. Seat height is 30.4 inches. So look at this, it's such a wide bike. Now I've got a 30 inch inseam. I'm on the side stand, on, so I'm flat on this side. Let's see if I can flat foot it. Ah, uh, just about, just about flat foot it. Look at that carbon stripe down the center. Amazing, amazing. So 30.4 inches, very low seat height. That's about 773 millimeters. It is a wide motorcycle, but it's still, you know. And by the way, the seat, this seat is actual leather. It comes with a seat cover just for that reason. Wheelbase on this monstrous machine, 66 inches. And you can see it. I mean, it really looks like a long bike. I mean, it's gotta be over seven feet tall, seven feet long. That's 1,677 inches. I don't know if I've ever done a bike with that much of a wheelbase. Weight, the number we all wanna know. This is a dry weight, 
641 pounds. It's 291 kilos, and that's dry. I don't know what the wet weight is. I looked online. I couldn't find anything. So I would say add 50 to 70 pounds to that. It's a phenomenal number. And the tank size on this thing, look at that brand new Tiger, 1200. Amazing. The tank size on this is 4.8 gallons, and I didn't get that in liters. I'll put that down below. So let's put the notes away and just take a look at her. I don't even know where to start. Let's just start with the tank. I already talked about this. So first off, it's just a sculpted piece of art. Look at this in the front here. I mean, that you know, that buckle. That's really just amazing in itself. I don't know if it's functional or not, but it's there. The strap down the center, these uh, very nice contours, you know, look at that. Locking gas cab, it's got the Monza style gas cover. These kind of chrome inlays here, beautiful uh, badging. This is a textured, raised, the raised again where the gold is. Gold striping down here, just absolutely gold. Just beautiful, look at that paint. Just look at how all that goes together. Gold, gold, loads of carbon fiber, miles of carbon fiber. You know, we had the carbon fiber stripe, carbon fiber on the exhaust system. Just a amazing thing. Carbon fiber over here, down here, heel guard on the valve cover. Carbon fiber on this front here. Big old carbon fiber fender. Just wow. I love the way these, this fender, you know, this fork protector right here. That's just gorgeous. Oh, radially mounted caliper, by the way. But just look at this thing. Looks like LED. Everything's LED on this, I'm sure. Just wow. Hydraulic clutch. Brembo hydraulic clutch. And adjustable. Very nice. Very nice. And then over here, it's the same thing. Hydraulic brake, of course. Uh, looks like a lock for the fork. Hazard light. Kill start switch. Home button. We'll go into that here in a minute. But uh, just check this thing out. Absolutely gorgeous. I think this is where you check the oil. I love it. I just love it. This is pure art. And I like it in this form. I mean, I mean, okay, look at this at this angle. Isn't that just wow, you know? This is supposed to be the premium sports, you know, power bike, premium power bike, and this really is. It's just it just screams wow. Even this rear tidy is just I mean look at that. It looks like a set of wings back here, you know, the badging, the Tail light. I mean, just look at that. And even look down here. Even that looks finished off. That's a linked, linked suspension. Very nice. Oh, and by the way, look at how these uh, foot pegs work. I want to see who sits on that. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Like a little... Uh... Let's do that again. Amazing. Amazing. This is how you adjust the uh, forks in the front. Compression, tension. That looks like some sort of power outlet. Maybe for heated gear. Another one back here. I don't see one. Um, I don't know how to turn it on. I don't have the key fob, so I can't really show you the dash. But I can show you the running gear. So cruise control with plus and minus. The mode button. The blinkers. Triumphs always have the best blinkers. It's one of the things I love about them. A joystick to control whatever's in here. Horn. Flash to pass light over here. Kind of went over this already. The kill switch, the home button, and uh, lock button, hazard lights. And then over here is the uh, fly-by-wire throttle. And then looking at these uh, cables here, look at this. They're braided. Isn't that just neat how they did that? I mean, look at that. Kind of like a set of horns. Gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Just a real wow, and I love the bar end mirrors. I mean, that really sets it off, doesn't it? This whole front end is just ultra aggressive. Check this out down here. Wow, beautiful, every little detail. So I've said this before, Triumph is all about, to me, the thing about Triumph is it's engineering, it's uh, performance, it's quality. And the thing about a Triumph, I was talking about this with a couple, I have Triumph, a couple of friends of mine we were talking about, and the biggest thing we noticed about the Triumph is everything is right. Everything works right. Everything is solid. Everything's well done. You know, I mean, just look at this brake pedal. You know, cast piece, just gorgeous. And every little chunk of this is, you know, thought out. And, I mean, not just cool. 
five lug wheel, you know, angled valve stems. Everything is just phenomenally well done. You know, look at the kickstand. Even the kickstand is a piece of work. I already mentioned it has the uh, quick shifter. Beautiful, man, beautiful. All right. Well, we would take this out for a spin, except that the, uh, we have a bunch of rain here and they just cleaned this bike. We don't want to get the thing all toasty dirty. So uh, at this point, with sorrow in my heart, I must tell you I can't ride it. We can't ride it, but uh, maybe next maybe next week, huh? Who knows? Hey, if it's nice where you're at, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!